pre-wipe events are among us. It's looking like the 15th for the wipe. That's my guess. I think it's going to be a short pre-wipe session. What is the event? So the, the new event is you can upgrade um, your hideout with beer. They've done this one in the past. All the beer sold out on the flea. So, and I think someone mentioned that you can level up faster. Yes, yes. Look how much XP we're getting by working out. We're going to have max strength and endurance. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like the two events going on. One, you can upgrade your hideout. Two, you level up your skills very fast. Let's see how many raids it takes to get up the max strength. Pre-wipe. Basically, they are in-game events that will stack on top of each other. And so day one, we're going to have... Well, the event today is basically you can upgrade your hideout instantly with beer, but you got to find the beer in-game or craft it. And then you level up your in-game skills way faster, way faster, like a thousand times faster. That way, by the time tomorrow starts up, everyone could be like max strength and endurance, which are the two most important ones. Now I'm pumped for wipe, dude. We're, we're spoiled right now. We've got Tarkov wipe, ABI release, Delta Force early, uh, early play test, and um the hunt showdown releasing a new update coming up i think on the 15th so our genre is getting getting spoiled right now come on bud you know you want to run across that it's safe yeah it's safe It's not safe. I lied. That's not who I was originally looking at, though. Waiting for my next victim. <laughs> Would Stank hit that shot? Probably not. What are you doing, sir? Make up your mind. He's hiding their stuff. No, he hasn't looted their body. He's camping their body. GF, GF. You wouldn't lie to me like that, would you? It's all skills level quick. Very quick. Very, very quick. Although I feel like I should have gained more strength and endurance this round. Oh shit, we got the goons up. We don't. These are PMCs. Run away. You can't run away from me. I think I killed him. I put a nade for good faith. I 
have an MG, I know. <laughs> Terrifying. Is that a Killer 7? I think I've got Killer 7 this round. We ever quit Tarkov? When I quit having fun. Or when I have more fun on another game. When these guys were voice comment, I thought it was the goons. It was not. We were live human beings. The scav stole this guy's weapon. Probably the one with the pilgrim backpack. Yep. I feel like I'm gonna die to a scav on the turret. That scout's gonna hop back on the mountain machine gun and just mow my ass down. Why are you looting? Um, because I enjoy doing it. And I took the time to kill these guys. It'd be like shooting a deer and just leaving the corpse. It's kind of fucked up. And I'll use this stuff. And if pre-wipe events last a long time, then I might burn through all the gear I have. Nice. Forgot to get his dog tag. Oh yeah. First day of pre-wipe events. I think it's a good starting event. If you're talking about just the hideout upgrade one, yes, but they coupled it with leveling up your character very fast. Like, when I worked out in the hideout, I leveled up so fucking fast. I went from, like, level 29 strength or 27 strength to 35. And I think I went from, like, level 9 endurance to 24. It's not bad for the day one event. So people that are going to be hopping on and playing today, they'll have max strength for tomorrow. In my opinion, they should just give everyone max strength and endurance. Give everyone max stats, period. Don't, don't. Make it more of a grind. Just give everyone max strength and stats. Like, why not? The events this wipe have been kind of on the lame side. They've been non-events. I'm hoping that just means that they're they're cooking up something big. But, you know, this is what it is. Dude, I 100% would, would pay to watch a boxing match between ABI's lead dev and Tarkov lead dev. Nikita versus whoever is the lead person for ABI. I'd pay big money to watch that. Where's the pay-per-view action on that, dude? I'd take bot. I'd, I'd take side bets. Hit me up on the Discord. You know that South Park episode where it's like Xbox versus PlayStation, and the two head guys fight it, fight it out in Red Lobster. <laughs> it's like that, dude. I feel like Nikita would be down. I feel like he'd be like, "Yes, please. I'll do it for free." On second thought, let's let's sell it for two hundred and fifty dollars, but no sound, no sound. I don't want anyone to hear anything unheard. That's marketing right there, dude. And Nikita would be a good fight. I think most Russians could probably fucking throw down, dude. <laughs> I, don't they like wrestle bears? I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure most Russians can fucking throw hands. No, I'll joke aside. Nikita does seem like a fucking would be. He'd be a fun dude to get a drink with. I bet. Man's a DJ. He's good too. Like crazy, crazy enough, man. He's actually good. Like he's a good DJ. <laughs> To be honest, I'm not a diehard fan of any sports team really besides the Thunder. Uh, I just cheer for the local sports teams. I used to live in Colorado and I used to live in Boston. So that's why I like the Abs and the Bruins. I like the Red Hawks because a lot of my family's from Chicago as well. You watch the Olympics? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> Yo, did you see the break dancing, dude?
That shit was so funny. All the memes that came from it. Meaning, wipe is happening? Um, the 15th, if I had to guess. You can see the Australian trick. I didn't watch it live. I just saw it all. All the like memes on Twitter. That's got to be like. Bro, I think I legitimately could break dance better and I've never broke dance in my life. She said she trained for 43 minutes prior. Yeah, that, that sounds right. I don't think I'd have the confidence level to go on national television and do that, though. I'm not gonna lie. That's a thing, like, if you lose your fantasy football league, they're like, yo, this is what you have to do. They're fighting over there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Not a good famous. I mean, realistically, like, I think it depends on how much you care about what people on the internet think about you. Oh, he was up top waiting. That was a good spot. Good shot, too. You, whenever I first started, you could sell, you could buy and sell anything and everything on the flea. And so there'd be bots that would snag items if it, it if it was below a certain price and then turn around and immediately repost it. And so like you couldn't ever get labs cards under a certain price because a bot would just snag it immediately. And that's why they implemented the CAPTCHA. There we go. I love this Glock. It's gorgeous. Once I get once I get the new place, I'm telling you, I'm going to get a new desk and the Cable management is going to be superb. There's going to be zero cables that you can see. Zero. Right now, it's like someone took a grenade, pulled the pin, threw it behind my monitor, and then just closed their eyes and started plugging everything in, and then it exploded. There's a couple hands back there. It's bad. It's bad. Ellie uses it as her personal jungle gym. She, last night, I'm not even kidding you, she was laying on top of cords that were sl slooped down like it was a hammock, with her head poking out underneath the monitor, jabbing out my hand, thinking that, that I was playing with her, because I was like moving the mouse around. And she was smacking my my mouse buttons, causing me to desk pop and aim down sight. I'd be in like the middle of a fight, like having to dodge it. And then she'd get up and go and step on my Go XLR and turn on my my voice effects, which you can't disable by the way, I don't think. I haven't looked into it like too much. But on like quick glance, I didn't find a way to disable that. And so I'd be in the middle of a fight trying to calm to my teammates and all of a sudden my voice would go robot -y or echoey like I was in an arena. And I wouldn't realize that she did it because I don't I don't hear myself talk. Like I don't have a playback. I, I can hear my voice. Ow. The chill, sir. So like I'd glance over at chat and people would just be like, mentioning it but it would happen for you know longer than i would like
grenade launcher. What the hell? I don't know who shot at me from behind. How many days do you think pre wipe will go for? Three. I bet it happens. I bet wipe happens on the 15th. It's my guesstimation. Scared the fuck out of me. Hot damn. Woo! My heart. Welcome to Tarkov. Yeah, for real. Did they turn? Do we know if they turned off the uh, cap for XP that you can gain in one raid? They did. Okay. <laughs> he flips me off as he's getting on the turret. What a bastard. No boss, unfortunately. Yeah, I will. Appreciate the raid, brother. I watched you help that Timmy out on Woods. That shit was so funny, dude. Appreciate you, brother. Let's go check the uh, mall. Are the streets with you? Um, this raid's been quiet. My first raid of the day, we got Killer Seven. Say Halo stuff me to me. <laughs> He's like, I haven't played that game in like ten years. I was trying to think of Halo, cool Halo stuff to say too. I don't know if I really could have. I probably would have went with, uh, these are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> just, just for meme, meme effect. It's like, I don't, I can't really think of, uh, much Halo quotes. Way to tell from the outside of Palante's up, um, in the mall. I'm not sure, to be honest. Probably throw a nade up there and listen to him. I don't know if he has unique voice lines yet or not. I don't think he's up. Oh, kind of. Here, one way I'll show you. you it's not so much from outside. You, ha you have to come inside. Because it's this door back here. See how, like... I guess you can from the outside. You have to aim down sight. If that door is open, and that door is open, then it's kind of a good sign that he could be up. AI scab will walk through that. Players will walk through that. But if uh, if the boss is up, the, they'll spawn down low and open it and then walk up top. And so that usually when I go on first floor and I see those doors open, that's when I'm like, okay, he might be here. All right, let's see. We have silo bait. Boss isn't up. Woods has been popping for me. Really? Okay. Don't know if I really want to play Woods, but... We can do it.
Was that in this building? Nah, it's in here. Hello, comrade. You, shot me in the head. you tanked a headshot? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. You want to see if you tank another one? How many are in here? Fuck. There was at least two. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna FBI open. He was ready. It was worth the attempt. Was the name Scab Management? <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's a good name. Breaching was not the way to go in, but it was the intimidation factor. That guy's hella intimidated right now. I did go get more Topo Chico today, and I got some liquid death, and I did get a uh, flavored liquid death.